All right, so I've been on YouTube for a year now, and one of my best performing videos is on my Rush 24 backpack. Uh, this is the version two. Uh, and even with that being my most successful video, uh, you guys see these bags in the uh, background of other videos of mine, and you're constantly asking, how's the bag holding up? What do I think about it now that I've been using it? Uh, a lot of you know that I have purchased its older brother, the Rush 72. And so in this video, I want to compare the two. I want to show you what the real big differences are, uh, what the 72 has to offer that the 24 doesn't, and also what I think of these packs now that I've used them for almost a whole year now. So stay tuned. All right, so we have a Rush 24 here, and some of the main differences from the Rush 24 to the Rush 72 is this main top pocket here. Uh, the 24 has two pockets that open from the side, and then they have a mesh screen here and a pocket here, right? And then the uh, you have the front pouch here that folds down, and you have uh, pockets and pouches and like I said in my video uh, when I did the review of this bag when I bought it new is these pouches run into each other right so if I want to use this pouch here I got this I can use as one big pouch but if I want to use this one it's gonna fill up this pouch see how now I can't fit anything in here because this pouch is taking up the space you know and it's got two so I can organize it and have two things separated or I can lay them flat and have one big pouch here and so it has lots of options uh, and I found that that's the same case when it comes with the Rush 72 uh, see here we have another big pouch here and then we have a zipper pouch behind it well if I fill up that zipper pouch I can't fit anything into this pouch because they run into each other you know, so you gotta pick, do you want the open pouch and get the quick access, or do you want the zipper pouch and then have it enclosed so that it's not falling out and you're not losing it. Uh, so there, again, with the inside, just like before, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, but you can see that the mesh is starting to show a little wear and tear from me using this all the time. Uh, but you have pockets here. And, if, and it's got a pocket here. It might be a little too dark to see the pockets on the inside. But if I use, I can lay that flat, and then I have my big bucket. But if I pull this and I fill this up, it fills up my bucket, right? So I can't use my main bucket and this pouch. I have to pick, do I wanna use this pouch or do I wanna lay it flat and use my big bucket? And uh, the Rush 24 has been a really great pack. It's comfortable uh, as long as you don't fill it real heavy. And what I found is, is they have the Rush series. So they have a Rush 12, which is kind of a day pack. Uh, the Rush 24, which is an overnight pack. And then the Rush 72, which is a 72 hour uh, type pack. And when it came to the Rush 24, I like this pack. Uh, I could make this an overnight pack, but if I want to take my YouTube gear and you guys along with me, uh, this just wasn't quite big enough. So I had to go and I had to get the Rush 72 uh, in order to fit all my gear. And uh, so let me show you the differences in that bag to this bag. All right, so here we have the uh, Rush 72. It's filling up the camera a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit larger. It has a lot of the same pockets and compartments, but because it is bigger, it does have more pouches and pockets. Uh, but again, they'll run into each other. So if I open this up, you can see there's an extra pouch up here. And then there's pouches on the back flap. Uh, but again, when you're talking about this bag, I have a large pouch here but these if I were to fill these up they fill up that pouch right so here's this pouch 
but with this full, I now can no longer utilize this pouch to the fullest because I got these pouches running into them. Uh, again, you have that same uh, open pouch here with the same zip pouch in the back. And so if I fill the zip pouch up, I can't fit anything into this uh, open pouch. And then it's got another pouch up here with the mesh so you can see what's in there. And uh, so again, you get a lot of organization in uh, the pouches, but you don't, you, you don't, you get options. You don't get to fill up every single compartment. You get to utilize the ones that you need, collapse the ones that you don't, and uh, have whatever options you need depending on your trip. And I really like that. Uh, also this front, this top pouch here, uh, on the 24 it opens butterfly style. Uh, on the 72 it's just one large pouch. And then it's got a pocket on this side and a zipper with mesh uh, on the lid. So again, if I fill this up and I go to close this, you know, I can't fill up this pocket and fill up this mesh because they'll collide into each other. And then I won't be able to close the main zipper. So you gotta decide, do you want the everything zipper closed shut so that it doesn't fall out? Or do you want the quick access? Or do you wanna just put stuff in here? You know, you can lay both these flat, just put stuff in here and uh, zip it closed. So I usually put my gloves in there and I don't put them in the pouch or the zipper pouch. I just fold my gloves in half and put them in here and then they're ready to go. Uh, another option that the 72 has that the 24 does not is uh, this front part separates from the main bag, which gives you, there's mesh here to uh, make it so that nothing falls out. But you can shove your jacket or whatever inside of here. And then when you cinch up the buckles, when you use the cinch buckles, that's what closes this lip. So you can shove a jacket or a sweater or whatever in there and then use the buckles to close it tight. Uh, another difference is the side pocket here. Uh, it has the same side pocket. It is much larger, seeing as it's a much larger bag. But on the inside, I'm trying to get you to see what's on the inside here. You have a pocket here and you have a pocket here and so you, there's uh, pouches in the side compartment so you can uh, utilize those. I like to put my buckle through here just to kind of secure it a little bit uh, but again it's you can either have a big open pouch with lots of stuff in there or you can compartment, you can put them in separate compartments and separate, have your gear separate. Kind of stuttering a little bit. It's hard to focus on the camera and the bag at the same time. Uh, opening the bag up, it's laid out pretty much exactly the same as the Rush 24. You have your three compartments here. Uh, you have your drawstring compartment here. Uh, again, you have, you can lay it flat and have the big bucket but if I fill this up it fills up this bucket so you really got to pick one or the other you don't really get both uh, it has a sunglass compartment uh, it has the drain it has the uh, holes for a hydration bladder just like the rush 24 it has the uh, rush 72 uh, it has the same yoke style uh, backpack straps, but it also comes with a built-in hip belt or a waist belt. So a lot of that weight is distributed onto your hips instead of your shoulders. And then the padding also has molly webbing on it as well. And so I like to put like a condor roll-up pouch here. Uh, so that I can put my water bottle in it and have easy access to my water bottle as I'm hiking uh, or I can put like if I find birch bark or fatwood 
or leaves or grass or whatever fire making material uh, I can put it in my roll up pouch as I'm walking and uh, just kind of keep it dry and wet or dry and if it's wet it's not making my pants wet from shoving it in my pockets so I like that feature as well and then just like on the uh, Rush 24 it has the back hydration panel so you can put your hydration bladder in here uh, yeah it's they have they are very very similar I even bought mine the same color uh, but since the 72 is a little bit larger uh, it does have a little bit more options but the thing that I like about them is the options you know I have I have the ability to use all these compartments and keep everything separate or I can just use it as one big pouch and just shove uh, I can put my dirty clothes or whatever inside here uh, so the the options are really good uh, I wouldn't I don't know when it comes to a tactical bag like this a lot of your gear is gonna be on the outside right you're not gonna fit uh, a sleeping bag and a tent and everything inside of here uh, your sleeping bag or your tent or your wool blanket is gonna get strapped to the outside uh, it doesn't have a mesh water bottle pocket you're gonna have to use a uh, molly water bottle pouch you know to carry your water uh, or your canteen you know so it's it's all about your uh, you're gonna be carrying a lot of stuff on the outside and so the fact that this thing is full of molly all around uh, really helps you carry the gear that you need but it is kind of expensive because not only are you buying the backpack but now you're buying the molly pouches you need for the gear you're buying like myself I have the molly water bottle I have the molly uh, condor pouch the roly-poly condor pouch I have the uh, uh, molly first aid kit you know and so all that molly gear the mo I have molly clips to help aid me in that and so there's a lot that goes into uh, making these packs usable for you know if you if you want to hike they're not the most comfortable if you want to strap a lot of gear to it you're going to be putting a lot of pouches on the outside uh, it's not a hiking backpack it's a tactical backpack and uh, you can really tell when you start putting in the miles the difference between the two uh, but they're great packs they're rugged they're tough uh, I've had the 24 for a whole year now uh, I've had the 72 for almost a year and I really enjoy using them I've, I've used them on backpacking trips where I've camped out of a backpack I've used the rush 20 or the rush 72 uh, I use the rush 24 as a day pack all the time and uh, they really hold up so let me show you a size comparison of the two and then we'll finish up all right so here's the rush 72 and here's just your standard uh, pillow for your bed and so if I put this inside of here you can see there's a little bit there's a little bit of the corner showing there's a little bit of the corner showing on top here but uh, side to side it fits in there top and bottom it fits it's just a little bit of the corners from the curvature of the pack and so if I take this out and I get the rush 24 and I put that inside here you can see that side to side you still have excess on the side you still have quite a bit coming out the top and so this bag is quite smaller than the 72 it doesn't have the capacity 
that the uh, 72 has. Uh, you'll also notice that neither one of them are very big. Uh, I'll have to show, leave the leaders on the screen, uh, but they're not very big. So a lot of your gear is going to be put on the outside of these. So when you're shopping for a tactical bag like this and you're in the market, just keep in mind that a lot of the stuff is going to be molly attached to this. All right, so I'm not sure if I really got my point across that I was trying to get across, but basically when it comes to these tactical style backpacks, you have to keep in mind that if you buy the bag, the backpack, you're going to be buying the pouches uh, as well. Because like a hiking backpack, your, everything goes on the inside. You fill up that main bucket of everything you need, you put it on your back and you go. Uh, the hiking backpack is going to be a lot more comfortable because that's what it's built to do. It's built to be put on your back and travel long distances. Uh, these tactical backpacks are built more for toughness, ruggedness. They're going to last a long time. They're built out of high quality materials. Uh, they're designed to take a beating. Uh, you can go through the burrs and sticks and they're going to look brand new even after being heavy used. But a lot of your gear is going to be carried on the outside, right? So you're not just going to buy a tactical backpack like this and put all your stuff inside of it and go. You're going to have to buy the water bottle uh, molly gear. You're going to have to buy, I have a, a condor roll-up pouch. I have the uh, molly first aid kit. That all goes on the outside of this uh, backpack. And so there's trade-offs between the two. Uh, if you're worried about the stuff on the outside getting caught or stuff on the outside uh, ripping or tearing, you might want to get a hiking backpack. Uh, if you like the rugged toughness, something that you can buy and throw in the back of a truck and not worry about it, that's where these shine. That's where these are very good option. Uh, these are going to last a lot longer. They're built a lot more rugged, a lot more durable than a lot of your hiking backpacks, but they don't have the capacity or the comfort of a hiking backpack. So with that being said, make sure to leave any knowledge or questions in that comment section. I want to know what backpack you carry with you most of the time. Uh, I want to know what your hobby is and why you picked the backpack for that hobby. Leave that in the comment section below. Then make sure to like and share this video to help spread that knowledge and those ideas to the people we care about most. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and come join the pack. I have a new video every Sunday and Thursday, and I can't wait to see you on the next one. Thanks, guys.